a little start in the dark this morning. Don't look too great for me to get a full day out on the ground, so got to start in the dark a little bit. Every time I think I'm out of my mind, there's always someone way more adventurous than me. Every time I get that realization that I might be crazy. Uh, there's like this, this touring club that goes around and they've been paddling in the dark. Oh my God, I was unloading my kayak. They've been just going around all in pitch blackness. It's so badass, I can never be that badass. All right, we're out here targeting Atlantic Bonito. Uh, not false albacore, Bonito have stripes and teeth. Uh, pretty popular coastal fish in North Carolina, Cape Cod, etc. Uh, they're related to tunas. Um, I've had some experience vertically jigging these guys in some pretty deep water over the years, um, but this is kind of my first real opportunity to get in on them from the kayak. Um, I learned pretty quickly the difficulty of doing this from the kayak as this is not the ideal trolling platform uh, for multiple rods as I learned throughout these trips that the small bluefish make this pretty difficult to get it up, done on a kayak. Um, I had no idea that these bluefish would be so numerous and nearly impossible. Um, and of course I had no luck on the jig, uh, both jigging vertically and casting. Um, both with which I've done successfully for Benito in the past, but this is not going to really work out for me here. Um, these bluefish really made this trip difficult for me. Uh, um, but yeah, this is how this goes down. I learned pretty quickly. Um, so hopefully I'll get some more opportunities. I'll try and try again and try again and try again. Uh, probably a sixth or seventh time I'll learn it might be impossible, but we'll see. Bluefish too. See money style, no fires, just the will. This is just loaded with bluefish, man. Terrible, terrible. Guess you made the call last second to come out? Nah, man, I was like, I was just thinking first light as like in, uh, sunrise. Not, <laughs> I don't know, I, I got there at like, uh, I was there by like 6.05. I was gone already. 5.55. I was working my way through there in the dark, man. Nice. Yeah, I would have done that. I didn't know you were going to be there that early. Yeah, I just wanted to try to get on a, I knew it was going to be busy out here. It is. I'm glad to see you. Hard to get that whole shot at four miles an hour. Not the right stuff. Yeah. Yeah, let me jig some of this stuff quick, man. I can't even fathom the thought of trolling anymore. I really hope all these ain't covered in bluefish either. I think they are. Just got sawed in half instantly. God. He bass. Oh wow, nice weak fish. I'm a Mackinac. Nice. Yeah, probably about 18 inches. I don't like them, but yeah, you know, I would try one just to see how you like it. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm covered in weak fish here, it looks like. Metal? No, Mackinac. Oh, uh, it's a paddle tail. Big yet, but it's still cool, man. 
17, 18. Sheep said, whatever. Whatever's biting. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm just winging this from here on out. Um, I just put some crabs on a bottom sweeper jig. Uh, it's a three quarter ounce one in about 50 feet of water. And uh, there's no redfish around or flounder of size to jig just yet. Soon that'll happen. But I'm um, uh, just trying to get a couple meat fish together and catch something to salvage the day. Ready to make the move after that. Big sheepy. Uh, What's that? Uh, oh, big sheepy. Damn. That sheepy. Little stud, spring stud right there. Keep a couple of those. Nice one. Nah, it's some, there's some reef, it's reef bottom down there. There you go. Some sort of reef bottom. Oh, whiting, nice. That's what that is. Keep a bunch of those. No sharks on it yet. Bonito! Nope, that's too big. There's no way that's a bonita. I think that's Cow Nose Raymond. What was it? It was jumping on top. Oh, Raymond. Giant, dude. Oh, that sucked. You see him? He's like gigantic. Come on. Let's pop, pop you off, my friend. Thank you. All right, I'm trolling in right now. Uh, that was kind of tough. Uh, we caught plenty of fish at least. I'm sure if I stuck with jigging, it could have had, you know, weak fish, uh, tog and sheep's head, all that stuff. Uh, still not too bad. I got to get some real small deep diving plugs. It's my first time really experiencing a bonito bite. And uh, I learned you can't rely on them popping up on top. Trolling like that's not really my thing, but if I make those trips out into the ocean like that, I kind of just want to catch, you know. So, uh, first time experiencing it, seeing it, so hopefully uh, get a little more, hopefully get a little more experience in that soon enough. So we'll give that another try real soon. So still not too bad, caught plenty of fish. Maybe I'll get a little window tomorrow to shoot out there real quick. I should have prepped out that Revo 16. I don't have a fish finder, so I don't, I don't want to do it solely off GPS. I mean solely off my phone's GPS. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. But, um, yeah, we'll see. All right, let me go. We'll uh, catch up tomorrow, see what happens tomorrow. 
Maybe we can get a couple tomorrow.